Hello everyone, this is Lamin Sani of LS Web Apps and in this video, let's see how we can now set the chat username on the server. In the previous video, we set it on the client like so, okay, and um, anytime you refresh the clients, you're still retrieving them from the cookie. Now let's see how we can set it on the server so when we send messages, the username for that person is saved along with that message, okay. So let's head over to our server.js here. Actually, first, let's move over to main.js. Let's deal with um, sending events from the client first. So there are two places where in um, the username is saved. It's initially, if you don't have the username set, um, when you first load the app in your browser, we are setting it in the cookie. And anytime that you submit this form here, or not form, you click on this um, set username, we're setting it again over here. So those are the two places we need to emit events to the server. So underneath here let's just do socket dot emit and what do we want to emit we want to emit a event called username and what do we want to pass as that um, events value is just chat username okay so let's do chat username and down here also anytime that you click on um, setting that username so let's do socket dot emit and we're setting um, sending the same username event and um, the value will be username field dot um, var. Okay. We notice that we're not using chat username as we did here because we're not updating chat username. So we could do that. Just update chat username here and set it to username field dot var. Actually, that would be more clever. Let's change it to that. So username field dot var. And then we just say that text is chat username and then here is chat username so that we're not um, getting retrieving it from um, the input field all the time okay so this is much cleverer even so let's go to the server and um, configure setting that for that connected socket so in the server here let's add in another event handler so since the user anytime that you set a username it sends an event called username to the server so let's set an event on the socket Remember the socket represents the connected client. Okay, so Firefox has its own socket and the Chrome browser has its own socket. If uh, another device, let's say a mobile phone browser, connects as well, that will have its own socket. So let's say socket dot on username. Uh, we call this anonymous function here, and an anonymous function will have one argument which is username. So what we need to do is we need to set it on the socket. So let's do socket dot chat username equal to username okay so finally we need to broadcast that to um all the other connected clients okay so let's do socket dot broadcast remember broadcast sends it to all the other clients except the current one so let's do socket dot broadcast dot emit and let's set a send a username event to them just to notify them that a new user um has set their username and um we're gonna say username this time we're going to send an object we're not just going to send a regular string so the object would have two um, properties which is a username and an id so the username's value will be username and the id will be the id of the socket so let's do socket.id okay so each socket has a unique id and we can retrieve that by just getting the property like so so in the main.js here let's listen um, on that socket let's listen for the username event coming in from the um server so socket dot on username and i'm um, just passing an anonymous function here and let's pass in uh, another argument called data which is just this um, object here that we're sending um, as the value for that event so in here let's do a simple log of data okay so let's just do a quick restart of our server so that that code goes into effect so what i'll do is i'll just do a quick refresh here and i'll do another quick refresh here okay so now let's send in messages from this browser to this browser here you will see in the console here that um we notify this browser that a new user has um set their username okay so alex let's do alex2 so set here so now as you can see it says that um gives us the data from the server that alex has set their username and um its username is alex2 likewise we can do it for this as well so i'll just do uh set the username here to jake2 set username and now when we go in the firefox browser here um, you can see that it is being set 
Okay, so that brings us to the end of this video. Um, in this video, we saw how we can set the username for um, connected clients on the server to their sockets. And next, let's see how we can retrieve connected users after we've restarted our browser. Okay, I right, thank you for watching. I will see you soon in the next video. Cheers. Bye-bye.